In this video, we're going to discuss how to sketch a derivative from a given function. So, in our first example, we have what appears to be a cubic uh, function f of x, and we would like to sketch the derivative f prime of x. Well, the easiest way to do that, in my opinion, is to start by looking at where slopes are zero. So, if we look at this maximum point where there's a slope of 0 and this minimum point where there's a slope of 0, the derivative value would have to be 0, which means they would have to be x-intercepts. So we have our first two points drawn. Now we need to look at slopes along the curve. Well, in our first interval over here, notice that the graph is increasing. That means all the slopes are positive. If all the slopes are positive, that means that the derivative needs to be above the x-axis, which means it needs to be somewhere up here heading to zero. Now, if we think about it, the slopes started off very steep, and as our slopes went up, they headed to zero. Well, this value starts off steep, and it's heading down to zero. Well, if we look at the next part of our graph, the next part of our graph is clearly decreasing. That means negative slopes. Our slopes started at zero, became negative, and then went back to zero. So that means we need to start at zero. We need to go dip below the x-axis for a certain amount of time, turn, and then come back to zero. Now we've got our slopes are zero and then heading in the positive direction. So notice zero, slightly positive, more positive, more positive, and so on. So starting at zero, heading up is f prime of x. And if you think about it, that makes sense. If the original function was a cubic, then the derivative of that function would be a quadratic. Notice that our sketch is indeed a parabola opening up. Well, let's take a look at another example. So again, uh, in this problem, I would start where my slopes are 0. So I would have a 0 at that point, and a 0 at that point, and a 0 at that point. Notice we have nothing labeled. So uh, how high and how low we go uh, doesn't truly matter. Now let's take a look. Uh, initially, the original function is decreasing, which is negative slopes. If we're having negative slopes, we should be below the x-axis heading to 0. Then we're at 0, and now we're increasing and then returning to 0. So we're above the x-axis, turning and coming back to 0. Our slopes are 0, negative, returning back to 0. So 0, negative, returning back to 0. And then from 0, increasing, from 0, increasing f prime of x. Let's take a look at another example. We have several examples to show you. So again, we have a zero slope here, and a zero slope here, and a zero slope there. Uh, notice the graph originally increases, so we're going to be above the x-axis, but then it goes to zero, so let's increase and then go to zero. Now we're at zero, negative slopes, back to zero. So at zero, negative, back to zero. Then we're at zero, positive, back to zero, zero, positive, back to zero. Then we're at zero, negative, zero, negative. There's our derivative. In our next example, again, we start off with the zero slopes. So we have a, slope, a zero slope there and there. Uh, original graph is decreasing, negative slopes below the x-axis to zero. From 0, positive slopes back to 0. 0, above the x-axis, back to 0. And then 0, negative slopes. 0, below the x-axis, f prime of x. In our next one, 
if we start here on the left side, notice that we have zero slopes, and then they are negative, getting very steep. Well, so that would be zero slopes, negative, very steep. Nearly the same picture. If we look up here, we have negative slopes, super negative slopes, then heading to zero. So super negative slopes, then heading to zero. Derivative. Over here, it looks like we have a zero slope here. And we have a whole bunch of zero slopes there. Graph originally increases, then goes to zero. So positive heading to zero. Then zero negative slopes heading back. Zero negative slopes heading back up. Finally, uh, the zigzag. Got to be careful of the zigzag. Notice all the sharp corners. We have a sharp corner, a sharp corner, a sharp corner. Remember, sharp corners are points of non-differentiability, which are going to lead to open circles on your graph. So our first piece is a line segment, and it's a constant linear slope, positive. So that's going to be above the x-axis with an open circle. Then we have a constant negative slope. So we're going to be somewhere down here, open circle, to our next uh, cusp. Then we've got, from that cusp, uh, a nearly identical slope. In fact, I think they should be parallel. So they should be at about the same level to our next cusp. And then this one appears to be parallel to the other negative. So open circle, and so on. Lastly, here we have just a regular line. I should put f prime of x on that one. Uh, if it's a regular line, it's a constant positive slope. So our derivative would be a constant slope. 